Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. And today we will more focus to the render in Lumen. So we will speak how to export this model to the Lumen, how to import it to the Lumen and how to apply some texture and make the camera, the effects and whatever. So let's do it. Before I will start this tutorial, I want to say, guys, you can buy this model in the Gumroad. Just go to the Gumroad. If you don't have the money to pay it, of course, you can go to the uh, my um, series about the completion project and do it by yourself. If you will buy, you will get this file. Also, some extended things like drawing sheets, reference plans, raw renderings, and of course, the Lumion project. Anyway, guys, whatever you choose, you will help me much. Thank you, and let's continue with our tutorial. And first what we're gonna do, you can export by FBX, just file export, export FBX, but don't forget, only from 3D view. And, uh, or you can use the Lumion, synchronize, or just export. I will uh, prefer export. Uh, so uh, here, if your model uh, not so big, uh, use the surface moving high, uh, highest one. If your model is so complicated, uh, I highly recommend use uh, in, around the normal. So don't forget to uh, skip interior details. Interior details, it means like furniture and uh, otherwise. Uh, we will use from the Lumen or we will import from the 3D, 3D Max. So we don't need them. Just we, we need to just collect the textures and export the nodes. So let's export it. I already have the my file here, but I will uh, resave it. So you want to receive? Yes, of course. So let's go to the Lumen. Uh, here we are already in the Lumen. If you're uh, watching the my channel, you already know. I, I did this building and I did here the second one, this building. And now we did the third, third building here. So uh, we already export uh, our model. So how to do import? Just go to the objects, uh, import. And here you will find the import new model. Let's uh, check that. Uh, go to the uh, your project. Uh, let's go to the our project, complete project, export. Here, here it is. Let's open up it. And uh, Lumen saying like you already have these files. Uh, do you want to rename it? So we, I, I know, I know, want to do anything. So I just cancel. But you will uh, put the uh, import. Uh, let's say I change something in my original file here. For example, I don't want this roof or anymore. Like like this, maybe. Maybe I prefer like this. Uh, so uh, let's name it on the other name because I want to save my original one. But let's say you change something and you want just update this model. But you don't have, for example, uh, live uh, synchronize. So how you can do it? Actually, pretty easy. Just we need to uh, the select our model. I already selected, it. and after that, just hold Alt Alt and click on this button. As you see, it changed when I'm holding the Alt, and click on this button and change the other uh, other file. For example, this one without this roof. Just few seconds, ta da! We now have this roof. So uh, we will um, re-import previous one because I want this roof. And now everything okay. So this is uh, everything about how to import file and export file. You don't need to know more than this because this is uh, information uh, will cover everything, all your question. I hope so. If you have some question, just go to below this video and leave some comments. So next, we will talk about the texture now. Uh, so uh, I will choose the materials. Uh, as you see, all my materials I already applied except the roof. Let's uh, do this roof something. Actually, I no matter which uh, roof I will have, because uh, I will do render only for interior. But uh, anyway, uh, let's apply some roof. Uh, let's say, mm, let's say it will be that one. And as you see, this is wrong uh, direction. So how you can change? Just double click on your material. And here you can change anything what you want. As you see, we can change here position. Here we can change the orientation. Actually, we need uh, this one. If we, I will use the shift, it uh, will go the slowly. 
but we need only 90, uh, 90 degree. So let's do 90 degree. Here we are. So now it's right direction. And what else we can do here? We can make the blank, we don't need it. Uh, we can make transparency and highly recommend you go to the weather and make the age on the uh, one. What is that? If I will go close to the age, for example, you see, you can see now here the age, right? And if I will use that one, you can see how this smoothly going on, right? We will do it like this. And as you see, I don't like this part, really. It looks so weird. So we can change it. Let's go to the Revit. And now I will use the uh, modify uh, here the uh, paint. Let's change the uh, let's choose the paint, uh, some texture, no matter which one. Uh, let's say let's say we will use. I will create new one because maybe it will uh, overwrite other texture. So this is default material tool, no matter material uh, default material to this one. And let's change for that side. Okay, now seems everything okay. So, and as I said, just go to the Lumen or file uh, export FBX. Uh, just do export or synchronize it and let's exp uh, ta -ta -ta, this one I will resave it and let's reload it again so I will save the texture uh, I will go to the object alt this button and let's reload it one two three four and as you see now we don't have the texture here so it's really easy to change uh, some wrong uh, material so you don't need to do anything uh, as you see we get our material yes uh, i don't like this part and i don't like that part uh, so yes of course we should actually we should go to and change it uh, but i will do it uh, i will do it fast and i will back here to you Okay, I am back and as you see I already changed everything and even I changed this one. So, uh, now we can switch to model and uh, do some rendering. Uh, I will choose for example this room. Okay, not bad. Uh, so now let's go to the camera and let's apply some settings. Uh, I will do it somewhere here, like this, maybe like this. Uh, I will change the focal distance from the lens. Uh, okay, a bit. Okay, re very nice. Let's do it. Now I need the effects, uh, of course, to point view. We are architects, we are using only to point perspective. Okay, nice. Uh, now we need uh, some direction.
here is uh, already finished uh, we can check what we get uh, let's go to the complete house renders and here the picture actually if uh, be honest I don't like this this texture so I will change and I will render again and I will put some lighting here because uh, it's uh, so dark here uh, let's do something uh, first I will change the texture um, really don't know what the whites so bad but anyway we can ch be able to change it oh my god what is that I will save it uh, again to the movie and let's check it everything seems okay I will render it uh, and I will back soon I think <laughs> let's I will put on the render I will use like test tool and I'll back soon the test tool and as you see it's not bad just a bit Photoshop and we will get the nice result Now I'm in Photoshop and let's uh, a bit edit this uh, picture. So what I'm gonna do first, what I will do, I will do that. Yeah, it's much better. Yes, it's much better. We will leave like that and maybe we'll use some filters. Uh, I will go to the Nick collection. Uh, you can download it. It's uh, totally free. It's uh, add-on for Photoshop. And let's go to the color effects. And you can change it. You can see before and after. So um, we will choose the. No. Mm -hmm. I think this one. Yes, I will use this one. And after that, just uh, apply OK. Few seconds. New collection working. And after that, you get your picture. Just save. No need spend more, more time uh, if uh, you understand like uh, it's not will give you so great result or great changes because sometimes just few touches uh, will do more nice result than if you will work like half day for only rendering this picture test 3.5 done so this is uh, I think done and uh, as you see you can use the Revit model from the scratch this one 
and render it uh, like using half an hour and after that uh, you will get a nice result to represent your model of course you can use VRA but it's uh, just think how much time you will spend for render it for the create the scene of course it's uh, it, you will get a great result but uh, you will spend much time just look what important for you time or a great incredible design uh, maybe your client doesn't matter he just want to see the uh, volume of your building that's it okay thank you guys for watching and see you next time and that's it from today thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe my social media leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time